Hey guys, Jeff with West Guy Designs. We just finished up this third gen Raptor. This thing came out unbelievable. I'll tell you what some of the things we did to this truck. We did a set of Icon Raiders on it, and this is a 17 by eight and a half with a 37, 12 and a half, 17. And these are the Toyo Open Country RTs. Come around to the front of the truck here. We've got the new SVC Baja bumper on it with a set of LP6s, actually a couple set of LP6s here, and the amber and then the clear finish. And then behind the grill, we've got the SVC high flow uh, intercooler on this. We did the Fouts uh, preload collar on the front suspension on this to get the front of the truck up so we could clear these 37s with no problem. And then up here, we have the um, XL80 Baja design lights and the amber finish as well. The nice thing is, is when I look at these out through the windshield appearing outward, you really don't see the light. It doesn't really block any vision out the windshield the way they're set off here behind the pillar. Uh, I noticed that was one of the really nice things when I was driving over here to get some of this filming for you guys. I'll take you around the back of this truck. We've got a bed rack. This has got the uh, 454 Motorsports bed rack in it. And then a, a set of matching spares here as well. And then tied up in the middle of this spare tire carrier, we have a Pro Eagle jack system here. And you can see it mounts really nice in the back here. We actually have a cover for it that goes over, but we wanted to share it with you just so you could see how nicely it mounts in there and, and all the attachments and how they mount with it. So um, super nice. Here again, we've got another SVC rear Baja rear bumper on this. So I'm gonna go into a little thing here. Um, at our shop, we're very fortunate that we have the equipment we have and the laser that we have at our shop and the bending material or way of bending stuff and designing stuff. CAD, SolidWorks, everything, water jet, robotic welding, 11 in-house welders. This truck came into us and some people say, oh, there's a lot of shops that do lifts and stuff in town. This truck came into us and it came in for all the stuff that we did to it. The last thing we did to it was this rear bumper. And when we were doing this rear bumper, uh, in the instructions, there was no mounts for the exhaust. It was basically just cut the exhaust off and the exhaust ends underneath the vehicle, which great. I, I mean, we could do that. I just was not okay with that. So we improvised a little bit. And uh, we did as we basically just designed a quick mount for this that ties into the factory uh, bumper mount where the factory bumper mount was, where it bolts up to the frame. So the plate slides on, the new bumper slid over the top, and then we put all the hardware in and we're able to contain all the hardware and the hangers in the back of this and not actually have to lob that stuff off and have the exhaust hanging underneath the truck. So when people say, hey, you know, Westcott Designs, you guys are $140 an hour when you guys do your labor at your shop. And I say, yeah, we are 140. But when it comes to being able to fabricate something on the, on the go, for somebody that comes into the shop that something is either it's missing a part or it wasn't well thought out and it didn't have all the things that it needed to finish the job or to make the job where we felt was safe and really nice we decided to improvise and make these brackets for this uh is there other people out there probably can use these sure uh, but we decide when we're doing something sometimes a winch is mounted in the problem areas of where the intercooler is on a supercharged vehicle or under the hood you've got a mount for the arb uh air compressor underneath the hood, which takes place of where the intercooler pump or some of the different things that mount underneath the hood. And so what we do a lot of times we'll end up just building or designing a bracket to take place so we can make all this stuff work. So it looks like it's a factory design and it doesn't look like it was something that was just kind of thrown underneath the hood. So these are some of the things that we do at our shop that we try to make do or make for the customer to make it more special or then also just make it so we did it the right way. So when it left our shop that these other extra steps that we took to make this right, we did it for them. So we wanted to share that kind of stuff with you as we worked our way around in the back of this truck and those little things that go a little bit farther for that customer, we try to do that for you. So again, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. Take care, bye-bye.